Hi, everyone from Motion VFX. In this new DaVinci Resolve Academy tutorial, we will learn how to ask DaVinci Resolve to manage automatically the volume of a music track with a voiceover. To do so, we will use the audio ducking technique in the Fairlight page. For this project, I will use the MCAM rig tutorial we've done with Patrick voiceover and with one music track. First, let's hear the voiceover track. I will solo it. Hi. Patrick from Motion VFX here, and I am happy to introduce you to our new free plugin, MCamRig for DaVinci Resolve. And let's see how it sounds with a music track. MCamRig allows you to easily create dynamic camera animations right inside the DaVinci Resolve edit page. Once installed through the M Installer application, the music is covering the Patrick voice. It is more difficult later when the music gets stronger. Bitcoin, you will be able to define the target of the zoom with the X and Y value. But of course, you can manually manage the global volume of the music track. And you can also add keyframes by pressing the Option key and click on the Gain Line control. But on a large project, it will take hours to adjust the volume manually. So we will jump into the Fairlight page and see how to set up the audio ducking. First thing, you will need to display the mixer. If the mixer is not present, you just have to click on the Mixer button on the top right of the interface. Inside the mixer, I will select the track 1, which is the voiceover, and I will double-click inside the dynamic square. The dynamic floating window will appear. With this window, we will get access to many filters and tools to adjust the audio track. For the voiceover track, we will focus on the compressor part in the middle, and we will click on the send button, and that's all. By doing this, the voiceover track will send the dynamics data or volume information to the other tracks. So the other tracks will know when there is or there is not sound on the track 1. OK, I will select the music track, track number 2, and we can see that the Dynamics window will switch automatically to the music track also. You can also select the music track with a mixer panel if you want. Here, we need to turn to the music track to listen the signal from the track 1. To do this, we just have to click on the Listen button. OK, so I will move the floating window on the top left and adjust the interface. I will zoom a little bit inside the timeline in the middle of the project. First, with the music track selected, we need to enable the compressor tool by clicking on the on-off switch button. We can play it. With the zoom pivot point, you will be able to define the target of the zoom. With but we can't hear any big changes. We need to adjust some parameters to get the perfect mix. First, we need to define what will be the threshold of the voiceover audio level to reduce the music. On this project, I've got a clean voiceover signal so I can set the threshold to the minimum value. But if you have some background sound on your voiceover, you may have to adjust it. So we can listen to the result. With the zoom pivot point, you will be able to define the target of the zoom with the X and Y. With the ratio parameter, you will define how much you want to reduce the music audio level. By default, the ratio value is set to 2 for 1. We can see with the graph how the ratio will affect the level. But the great feature is the fact that you can adjust it in real time. With the zoom pivot point, you will be able to define the target of the zoom with the X and Y value. But you can also move the target directly inside the viewer by activating the fusion overlay option. Okay, I will set the value to 2.4. Let's hear the result. With the zoom pivot point, you will be able to define the target of the zoom with the X and Y value. But you can also move the target directly inside the viewer by activating the fusion overlay option. Maybe the music is still too loud. I will increase the ratio to 3 for 1. With the zoom pivot point, you will be able to define the target of the zoom with the X and Y value. But with a new parameter, you can smooth the transitions around the threshold value. With the zoom pivot point, you will be able to define the target of the zoom with the X and Y value. The mix parameter can bring back the music level without modifying the previous parameters. You can see the result directly inside the graph. But you can also move the target directly inside the viewer by activating the fusion overlay option. Below, there are three important parameters. The first one, attack, will define how fast it will apply the audio level change. The value can be defined between 0 0.7 and 100 milliseconds. With the zoom pivot point, you will I will set the value to 1 millisecond. With the zoom pivot point, you will be able to define the target of the zoom. 
seems to be perfect with Patrick's voice. The next parameter, hold, is very useful, as it will define how long the cut will be hold even if there is no sound. It is very useful to avoid any peak of sounds while people are breathing. By default, it's set to zero. It is why we get some audio peaks. With the zoom pivot point, you will be able to define the target of the zoom with the X and Y value. But you can also move the target directly inside the viewer by activating I will set it around 450 milliseconds to test it. The zoom pivot point, you will be able to define the target of the zoom with the X and Y value, but you can also move the target directly. Okay, I will need a longer hold value. I will push it to two seconds. Side the viewer by activating the fusion overlay option. The problem is when the sentence is done, the music will come back after two seconds. That's not good at all, so I will refine the value and try 700 milliseconds. Fusion overlay option. With the last parameter, release, you can smooth the transition when the music is getting back. If I push it to the maximum value, we will hear a long fade in. Overlay option. For this project, I will set the release around one second. An overlay option. And we are done. The magic with automatic audio docking is the fact that you can go back to the edit page and modify your edit. As we didn't add any keyframes, DaVinci Resolve will automatically readjust the volume and we don't have to change anything. The Fusion Overlay option. I will quickly adjust some parameters to get a nice 3D camera motion around my video clip. To get dynamic animation, MCamRig provides rate parameters. I hope this tutorial will increase your productivity inside DaVinci Resolve. And for more tutorials, don't hesitate to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Ciao, ciao. Bye bye.